in the thick of conference play here in January of 2017. The NBC Hoop Shootaround, sponsored by Perina, is rolling on. Derek Dockett here. Alongside, as always, Adam Emenecker. Adam, fresh off from uh, seeing the Drake Bulldogs in action. We'll talk about them a little bit, but uh, how's your week been going so far? Uh, well, it's been busy. It's been a lot of exciting basketball Valley season. Everybody's got four games in the book now. Everything's uh, coming into full swing, so it's fun. Absolutely. Uh, let's start off with things right now. Right now, the class of the Valley right now, two teams, 4-0, Wichita State and Illinois State. We knew yeah. Wichita State going into the season, preseason pick. We know that story. Illinois State yep. 4-0 playing some really good basketball of late, uh, both the Shockers and the Redbirds. Yeah, we. I mean, we've highlighted players on each of those teams uh, in the in the past, Eric. But the 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 easiest way to sum it up: both these teams have great athletes and they have great depth, and that's what's allowed them to get to four and zero in the conference play. They've just kind of overwhelmed their opponents throughout the course of that forty minute game. So both Greg Marshall and Dan Miller have to be happy with what they've seen from their groups. And one, one guy to point out quick. Mikhail McIntosh, how about the game he had against Indiana State yesterday? We're recording this on a Sunday night. 31 points, six rebounds, three assists. A guy that's averaging 15 and seven on the year. But that's a following up an outing against Missouri State where he had 21, six and four. So this guy, Mikhail McIntosh, is as hot as they come. Absolutely. It's funny, the, our feature player profile in that halftime of that game against Indiana State was Mikhail McIntosh. Yeah. And in that feature, it noted that uh, the Redbirds have a team drill where in the summertime, they all went to put up 10,000 shots or more. He actually got closer to the 20,000 shot wow. range over uh, in, the, in the summertime is what Dan Muller said. So perhaps that paying off for the Redbirds. We'll see how they continue to go. Big matchups for the Redbirds going into this week with Southern Illinois and next weekend with Wichita State. We'll see how that goes. Uh, another big individual performance, Milton Doyle for Loyola, stuffing yeah. the stat sheet against Bradley with a career high 35 points as well. Right. How often do you get two guys in the conference scoring 35 points on the same day? So Milton Doyle, you know, we've we've talked plenty about him, all everything type of guard, great athleticism, great length, especially at a, from a, basically the point guard position. 35 points, 11 rebounds versus Bradley really carried his Rambler ball club to to a victory over the Braves. And uh, he the, his talent is unlimited. It's just about continuing to use that consistency and figuring out the balance, which he's done a great job of this year. When do I push my foot forward and score? And when do I defer and set up my teammates? Absolutely. Finally, as we mentioned at the outset, you are fresh off of seeing the Drake Bulldogs get a win over Evansville. The Bulldogs now 2-2 two and two in conference play. Yeah. Uh, since the coaching change, it seems to be a little bit different of a Bulldog team out there in the court. Yeah, uh, how about a team that's one in ten at the beginning of this year, two and two and ten entering conference play, having a two and two record. I mean, not a lot of people expected this. The victory at home over Loyola, then the victory at home tonight over Evansville. So this team is really shooting the ball really, really well. They're playing defense a little bit better, but I think the difference, they're just making some of the little hustle plays. They're getting big rebounds when they need it. They're getting the loose ball. They're they're getting a held ball situation as opposed to losing it out to their opponent. And when you shoot it from three like they do, as I've talked to the the different coaching staffs who have made trips to Des Moines, like I mentioned, Loyola and Evansville, they both say, you watch this team, and on the bench, they're having so much fun. They're so excited. They don't look or act like a 2-10 and ten ball club. And now they're getting a little better. They're sitting at four wins, four and 12 overall, and two and two in the league. Everyone knows when the uh, when the Valley season starts, that's like a new season starting over. So Coach Jeff Rutter taking advantage of it. Those Bulldogs next in action on Wednesday, as everyone is in the league, uh, the Bulldogs taking on Indiana State on the Valley on ESPN3. Also on Wednesday, Loyola and Wichita State, Illinois State, Southern Illinois, Evansville, Missouri State, and Northern Iowa at Bradley. Saturday will be a big day as well with the game on ESPN2 between Wichita State and Illinois State. Again, we're all looking forward to, uh, but we've got to get through Wednesday first. It's going to be another interesting week in the Valley as we roll on here in conference play. Adam, we appreciate your insight, sir. Hope we'll talk to you again real soon. Yeah, sounds like another fun week. Looking forward to it. Thanks, Derek. This has been the NBC Hoop Shootaround brought to you by Perina. We'll talk to you again soon.